Hello everyone. Welcome to the webinar, The Art of Testing Trading Platforms. Today I will be discussing with you a typical stock exchange and what are the key challenges and risks that are involved in it, in testing it. And what would be a acceptance criteria to make sure that the product is tested properly and it can go live into production. And what is the whole test governance structure based on which we can govern the whole test management. Then we talk about the complexity involved in the functional testing and how you lay out the whole requirements into a scenario. And depending on the complexity of how many different gateways, how many different interfaces we have, uh, what is the integration testing and interface testing involved? How do you do performance testing and failover recovery testing? If you look at this as a typical stock exchange and you have your core services that are being offered as part of your primary market or secondary market and the trading happens through a trading application that has been developed by a development organization then most of the times the clearing and settlement is happening as either a separate component of the exchange or as a separate entity by itself. Then you have your risk management structure where you have a compliance, regulatory compliance that you have to comply with in terms of Reagan MS in US or MIFID in Europe. Then you have your surveillance systems, the circuit breakers, if there is a violation or a breach of any condition, uh, how do you handle it and then how do you make sure the uh, the online position monitoring is happening to make sure that your clients and the members and ultimately at the market level if there's an exposure how it's balanced. Then you have all the different interfaces through which people are trading with the stock exchange, your third party trading applications, your external market data and all the different protocols and different gateways. How does the interface management happen? And then you have your recent trends in terms of algorithmic trading dark pools and dark market access. Then if you look at some of the key challenges and risks involved, you can look at it from two perspectives, the business challenges and the technical challenges. In terms of the business challenges, you have the complexity involved in terms of how do you reflect the real time trading. And then I just had a question here asking how do we recreate real time market data. We use market simulators, okay, and we can set up the order book in our scenario using those simulators to simulate the market data. Then we have this complex team board in terms of integrating the different modules, the front office, the middle office and the back office functionality. And then how do you deal with the compliance chain, evolving regulations like Reagan MS and MIFID. And this whole business challenge of how do you maintain this high-end skill set of the domain experts, the automation experts and how do you build and maintain the team around it. Then the technical challenges are like the interaction with these multiple systems through several interfaces and gateways. And once you have, were able to do it, then how do you take it to the next level of automation of these things, of these complex scenarios and interface gateways. Then we also have this uh, challenge of performance testing and if you have service level agreements in terms of acceptable levels of latency because here we are dealing with huge volumes of data okay, and uh, the need for them to be processed incredibly quickly. And in terms of risks, the business risk is what if there is a change in the business model and when there are rules and regulations that are changed as part of your requirements and there are new products that are introduced as part of your application and how do you deal with downtime, I mean the revenue is lost and if you have a new application coming in and to be tested for it to come into the market in time to be competitive. Then we have the technology risks in terms of your risk of failure and then you have a new technology integrating uh, how do you test for it and if there are any legacy applications on mainframes and when you are migrating your symbols to a new application and if there are any third party applications that are part of a system do they affect your own system in terms of testing. So then you have this whole acceptance criteria uh, which has to be agreed upon to make sure that you have 
a product that's thoroughly tested and everybody agrees that this is the acceptance criteria to say that it's been thoroughly tested. So first of all, we have your core functionalities that you have to test for in terms of your user management, where you'll be dealing with, uh, typically the users are uh, associated with trading platform like specialists, market makers, floor brokers, and a typical user management module would cover the functions like login credentials, assigning of symbols to specialists and market makers, defining the coding and trading rights, and refining the trading allocations by identifying them as special users and so on. Then you have your instrument management where you broadly cover aspects like allocation to matching servers, defining the tick structure, corporate actions, and related price adjustments, halting and restarting a symbol, reclassifying the instrument to various trade segments, and so on. And then you have your quote and order management depending on the market we are working with. If it's a European market, it could be a mix of a quote and order driven. If it's a US market, it could be a quote driven management. So then you have your session management, all the different sessions, the pre-open, the opening, regular halt, reopening and close and post-close sessions. And how is the session management during the transition of the market through these sessions? How does the price discovery happen during opening, reopening and closing sessions? And what is the behavior of the orders in various sessions like participation in auctions, queuing the orders, etc. Then you have your trade management, which is primarily concerning with the matching rules governing the matching of orders like price time priority, trade cancellations and corrections. Then we already talked about the risk management, which would cater to risks broadly at the market level and member level. Then compliance to the regulations. So you would look at the requirements, identify the core functionalities around which we have to do the testing to make sure that these requirements have been met. And then you also have your service level agreements at different levels, the performance, uh, security, in terms of data security and network security, and reliability of the system. Then you have this whole challenge of how do you govern the whole show? How do you manage it? If you look at the, the QA partner you're getting into partnership with as the center, the quality management process, then you have two major organizations, the developer organization, which has developed the trading application. Then you have the client organization, your stock exchange. And then you look at the governance from identifying the stakeholders, the client organization and the development organization.